okay. Well, since we didn't get a really good Blair Witch game last time, I think I'm officially playing it. And I think I'm officially done, because I really don't want to play now. <laughs> it is currently 3 a.m., which makes this 3 a.m. a lot more official, and I'm honestly a little scared to play. It's super dark where I am, and as you can know, as you can see, as you can know, this is definitely inspired off of the Blair Witch, and this is definitely probably going to be a better game than the Blair Witch game that came out a year ago, I think, so why, why don't I just shut up and why don't I just search for those two missing people? <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. No, turn it on. I, I just wanted to get that fucking out of the way. <laughs> okay. I can't pick those up. Uh, can we go back in our tent? Because I really don't like this already. Okay. So, I honestly was super disappointed with the Blair Witch game last time because honestly it didn't fulfill my Blair Witch needs. Obviously didn't fulfill my Blair Witch needs. But right here, I think, I think it's just starting to because I honestly don't feel like playing <laughs> anymore. So, you know, it's gonna be good. What is that? Is that another witch sign? I'm like hearing all these noises and I... Oh. Whispers. That's neat. Is this something I have to touch? <laughs> yeah, let's touch the scoop. Let's touch the ominous red statue in the middle of the woods. We are definitely gonna survive the night. Okay, well my compass is like... Honestly going haywire. It is definitely a sign of paranormal activity. Okay, well... Before I started this game, there was a readme text, and it said, If I can't find the house, which the game is called, then s then go after the screams of help. Why are we gonna play the hero? Like, why are we gonna play the hero? What, at what cost, honestly? Obviously for our lives, but, but at what cost? <laughs> at what fucking cost? Okay, let's just listen for them. Okay, well, I'm not hearing any Is that the noise that it makes every time I step on branches? I really hope that was nothing near me. <laughs> I can hear you, fucker. <laughs> I know you're there somewhere. <laughs> okay. I... Wow, this hits so many levels of Blair Witch. I can't even fathom it. That, that loud ass branch that really scared the shit out of me. Okay. It, it's so strange to me how a movie like The Blair Witch. Hey. <laughs> I, I see you. <laughs> Don't the. Oh, oh man. Oh! Hey, look! It's like Outlast. I wouldn't. Th I didn't. I didn't suspect it for it to be. Oh shit! Yeah, this is definitely. A, what are we? Do we have our GoPro? It's a really weird looking. I've never seen leaves like that. They look like anal beads. I'm hearing you. Oh, ugh. that's that's so Blair Witch of me to do. I hear you like that fucking one guy that ate the map. Not. Go oh no. I hate this. Oh man. I hate this so much. So this is basically... I heard it's a really short game, which really... When has a house been ever... When has a house been that scary? Oh man, it just... It looks just... It looks just exactly like the Blair Witch House. I don't like that, honestly. Is there some? Is there going to be something peeking through the windows? Because I always had that feeling when I watched the movie. Handprints. Blair Witch. Check. <laughs> We're going to have a list. Oh. 
you, you know, before we go in, there's a thing they say that demons can imitate loved ones or people you people you suspect you know who is like I don't really trust that can okay uh, those are just sound files those aren't those aren't actually something that's near us <laughs> do I really want to open this fuck it the fuck? Oh. oh if I see someone standing in a corner I'm I'm, I'm running Okay. Ugh. Hello? Housekeeping! And open this. Ay. Ay, ay. Uh, oh. Jesus. Jesus, fuck. Close that, please. Wow. Speed run, am I right? We've literally just found the fucking house in just what? Two, three minutes? It felt like. I gotta. Yeah, how about we just not. Oh man. Oh, this is bad. It is house cleaning. I am here. Clean the house. Oh. So I really don't want to be chased. Do I have to look in a corner so she won't get me? Cut. Don't do that. Don't open it from behind. Hey! Oh, yeah. Turn! No! Turn! Turn on! Turn on! Turn on! No, 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 no. Turn on, turn on. No, I'm staying in this corner. Turn it on. But it's out of batteries now. It's just. Oh, God. Christ. I should have never. I should have never gotten that job in housekeeping. Oh, wow. They're all over the place. Jesus. How about we just stay inside then? What? Oi, oi. Satan. Satan, is that you? Ugh. Oh man. Oh, I'm in the circle now? Oh. I'm special. Are they still out there? Y you know, I really suspect. I would have suspected a fucking jump scare right here. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Noises? Good. Oh. I'm gonna start feeling like Ghost Adventures. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You, you know, if we could just slide through the, the brick, the fucking slabs of wood, then, you know, maybe we can just call it a night. <laughs> Please. Fucking hate. Hey. 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 Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> There's no pause menu, is there? Oh no, there is. <laughs> no. No. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh. Stop. 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 God, I don't want to do this no more. I don't. I don't. That looked like the fucking twig, man. <laughs> Can I hide here? Oh man, this is horrible. Fuck. The the front door is just open. Does it expect us to get out? This is too easy. Too easy. Something's gonna be chasing us. Oh no. Oh, there's. Yeah, I knew it'd be too easy. Yeah, you motherfuckers caught on, did you? Oh man, those are so loud. Scaring the shit out of me more than anything. The handprints. Oh, the handprints. So bad. Stop doing that. Man, I've got. I bought a really shitty flashlight over at AutoZone, did I? Home Depot, more like. Oh, do I have to go in there? It's like I don't have any other choice. Can I fucking? You can to, to just. Can, if we can pause the scares, can I just comment on how good the shadow... Oh, I have no head. It's like, Outlassie, can I just comment how good the shadow looks? As a gamer, I would recognize that the 60 frames that the shadow is emitting is quite impressive. Alright. Oh man, there's people in there. Oh, do I want to? 
Hello? What is that? I'm late for Satan's party, hello! Oh. Oh no. The KKK. They've gotten to me. Ha. No circle this time. I'm not special anymore. <laughs> Alright, motherfuckers. What's the point? Come on. Just tell me I'm the chosen one or something. Don't... Don't keep it a fucking secret. I know it. I'm hot shit. I honestly haven't been this scared since I've played Akamanto, and you guys know how scared I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, well, no, no thanks. Okay, well, looks like we'll go. <laughs> Can I go downstairs? Do I want to go up where the thing went, or do I want to climb down and leave? Oh, man. What is that? Is that a rope? What is that? Oh man, doesn't matter. We're leaving. Can we leave? Well, that sounded like we could leave. Oh, you're dangling hope in front of me, game. These fucking leaves are fucking with me. Like, I keep thinking it's somebody that's like dangling off of the fucking window frame, but it ain't. And th this is a really cool child daycare. All these handprints, it's very cute. They will soon to be artists. Hi? Turn back that fucking flashlight, I swear to god. Where did you buy this flashlight? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Satan? They, these look like the Crusaders. You... I've done it. Oh man, now it's going full Blair Witch. Oh, look at these. I, I'm not kidding. When I hear the sounds of branches breaking, it just... Hello? 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 No. Hey. 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 Fuck. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Oof. Oofs, that, oh, fight or flight, oof, that was, oh, flight it is, I, I, I know I'm not, oh man, there's a lot of writing, I had a lot of free time, even in the chimney too, they're not fucking around, oh man, can I leave, hello, just investigate even further or leave, well, I think it's smart enough to say that we leave, Go run faster, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is that you, Heather? <laughs> I'm just trying to get along the field. Oh, man, we all know what happened down here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. There's gonna be someone in a corner, and that's gonna be it, and I'm gonna be scared. Oh. That is not her. I told you, it's a demon mocking. Oh. Yo. Hey. <laughs> Just what I suspected. Oh. Where am I? Oh. No. Oh. We ain't done, are we? Oh. No. <laughs> My worst enemy. <laughs> Geometry! No! Oh, holy shit. What is... <laughs> hey, <laughs> could you unstrap me here? Maybe I could give him a hug head on. I don't want to be just laying here. What is that thing? Oh. Fantastic. That was great. That was super good. Oh man, that was great. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> that was really amazing.
Okay, I'm just gonna turn on my lights so I can just be a little safe. <laughs> okay, well that was fucking House in the in the Woods. Um, that was, I I I didn't I didn't expect that honestly. That uh, kind of I'll be honest. I kind of just I'll I'll just like throw it off honestly. I'll just um just kind of hit it right here. I. I don't have to think about it that much because it's kind of obviously um, inspired off of the Blair Witch, and I think it does so much better than the official Blair Witch game, in my opinion, and especially being such a fucking low-budget and indie, like an indie game from a small team, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, and it does so much better, which is impressive to me. Um, indie, indie game developers always do it better because they know what works in a game more than official games you don't you don't have to have an official name just to act like you know what would fit in a game any any developers are honestly to me um outside watchers seeing what official game licensed uh groups do wrong and think that they can do better so i really appreciate this i loved it honestly <laughs> i actually have gotten so much chills um during the game uh, and you know and like I said especially that it's honestly 3 a.m um, what an appropriate time I didn't plan this at all you know I once I saw this in my downloads folder I I was like huh I haven't touched this yet I guess I'll record it and I am glad I've made that decision and I'm glad I, I'm, I'm I honestly feel bad that I haven't donated to these guys which you can which I placed down in the link below. Uh, I, I they honestly deserve it. I think they deserve to be on a higher budget and be able to do what they can that they've just shown here in this sort of I wouldn't say a preview, just like a taste of what they're capable of. And I think they deserve a much higher um, budget to do more, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I I I'm, I'm honestly a huge fan of the Blair Witch. I, I don't I think you've noticed, especially how I pointed out everything that's so Blair Witchy. Um, but that's the thing that kind of threw me off, especially with the cult thing. I mean, I I think it's expected that it, there would be cults involved. Um, but it kind of just turns it off for me, turns me off because um, it's kind of it's kind of um cliche to go it go it off with with cults and and a huge demon monster. And something that looks straight off of the void, but but overall it's really good. Um, just wish kind of that the uh, that the villain of it all is is something beyond our comprehension because I always thought that with the Blair Witch would be something out of our uh, a ghostly incomprehensible entity. That's what I always thought of it to be. Um, but but it's still good either way. I a five out of five. I'd give it a definite five. Um, that's not me being a cocksucker. That's honestly me being. Uh, very appreciative over this, especially how I was so disappointed with the Blair Witch um, recently, the official Blair Witch game. I was so disappointed with it. Even though it's done some things right within the atmosphere of it, I, I still was disappointed with it, especially how it didn't have no, it had no tie-in relations with the first film. Um, so, honestly, yeah, uh, The House in the Woods, link is in the description if you want to play it, even though you just seen me play it. Um, if you want to show it to your friends and, and play them and play with it together and, and scare he or she shitless. Um, so yeah, go check them out. So the update I wanted to kind of talk about is, um, there's a lot going on, which I think some of you are aware of, and that is considering not just cor the coronavirus epidemic, um, but also the worldwide protest uh, against the murder of George Floyd. And I really hate to talk about politics on here because I'm not really someone who goes into politics as much as they're important. Um, but you know, when I talk, when I put into, when I put into, um, when I put into politics onto here, it just rubs me off the wrong way because I, because I'm not want to talk about politics, and whenever I do, I just sort of feel like I'm I'm on my high horse. I'm this the silver shining knight, you know, and that's not who I'm trying to be. I mean, in 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 all of awareness, yes, I would really vouch for that, but I'm not really 
into politics as much because personally for me it just doesn't do me well health wise and um and i'll put that as i'll say that as much really um but considering with those two factors uh uploading has been kind of a struggle because at the same time i've been really busy um trying to enroll into college since i have recently had my graduation eh, yay me four years of suffrage fuck um but i have been trying to enroll to college so i've really been focusing more into that and especially um the surroundings especially of what's going on which i've brought into the covid and the unfor the really um really sickening incident of um of the murder of george floyd so everything really is um is stressful everything is a stressful time and it's also a progressive time so we're in the midst of you and i or whoever is listening you and i are in the midst of a progression and the effects of that are really really stressful like any um as any pro as any sign of progression would be um so that in itself it kind of led me to start of to sort of um stray away from uploading as much i mean really with covid i mean we're quarantined inside so really i can record as much but at the same time all of this is sort of taking a, a toll of my mental health which i am open about my mental health because i was so open about that like how many years um when i did that jake paul and mental health rant video um but yeah honestly it's taken a toll on my mental health and honestly um i've kind of just strayed away from my uh channel i mean recently i've been doing a lot of fucking movie edits you know no more of the movie shit put on the gaming shit and um honestly uh, I get a lot of enjoyment doing the movie edits as, as I do uh, as I do with video game um, uh, let's plays or whatever you want to fucking call them um, but honestly I'm planning on just sort of taking a pause I mean if I gotta be really honest here back to reality like I I am in no like I do not suspect anyone like a large majority of people listening to right now what I'm saying but for those who do actually follow that's why I do this sort of thing it's not like it's not like I'm, I'm I have a hundred K follower fan base that are wanting to hear everything what I what I put into but still I've got to think about the few others and that's what exactly is what I'm trying to do so all in all really all of this has taken a toll on my health and I've been done I've been trying to do other things that are beneficial towards me instead of just folk doing on all, all this shit on YouTube and and also yeah that's really wanted I get a, a hold of on um, not really an update just sort of a you know let you in on a uh, announcement sort of I guess whatever you want to call it um, but yeah but thank you everyone for tuning in again um, yeah that was a hell of a ride of playing fucking house in the woods uh, that was an experience so like i said lincoln is in the description a donation would help them a lot because they do deserve that just in a span of 10 minutes of playing this game five minutes even is impressive so uh they do a lot better than a fucking official um team uh blooper whatever well i don't want to call them out but they do way better than an official licensed game team um so yeah uh Check out the link in the description and donate them if you want to. But play the game first, and honestly, I would say play the game first. And if you liked it, and if and if it and if it brought that much impression, then they deserve it a donation. They they deserve my donation as as far as I'll say. So yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.